Hello and welcome back to Amehana's Cauldron. I'm Teresa Garcia or Amehana Arashi and I am here to do another short make-do video on what you can do to make your dog stretch a little bit further and uh, keep a little bit of milk in the fridge oh. when uh, it doesn't quite go as long as you were hoping. When I picked up the last gallon of milk that I purchased, we also made sure to pick up a bit of evaporated milk as well for baking needs because I do try to keep some in stock, but mostly for being able to reconstitute back into regular milk. It does not taste as good as you know, a, a regular, regular carton of our milk wood, but it works in a pinch when it's cold, and especially if you add some strawberry to it or some chocolate. You two be good. So. I apologize, I am a little bit tired right now. Yeah, I am a little bit fatigued. So I'm not as chipper as I would like to be. What you're going to be doing is you are going to be doing equal parts of water. I have a filter pitcher here because unlike elsewhere in town, our water tastes a little bit different than it does in town. We live outside of town, so you want equal parts of water and your handy dandy evaporated milk. Normally I get cans, but I didn't see any cans. They had cartons, which, you know, that works for me. So what we are going to do is I'm going to use my handy dandy funnel because I am no longer as steady as I was when I was younger at all especially when I'm tired and fatigued so hopefully I can do this without too much of a mess This particular carton is 17 fluid ounces, or for those of you who are confused by our system, it is 502 milliliters. I only know this though because it says so right here. Let's check that. Not a ways to go yet. Some of you may ask. And part of it is because this is a good way for me to ensure that I am doing equal parts, but also 
because it helps wash out the last little bit of milk. I don't really know where I picked that tip up. It might have been from my mother, but I don't know. I don't remember. Ooh, there we go. Because even though things were sometimes a little bit tight for us, I really don't remember mom having to do this or having to do the powdered milk. Maybe when I was a really wee one. That feels a lot like it's mostly fine. Do you remember powdered? Carnation milk breakfasts, though. I don't know if they still have those. After all this is over, I should probably look and lay some in. Until I started getting a little bit touchy in the stomach in the mornings, in my teens. I had those with my breakfast quite a bit. And then my breakfast had to change a bit. And let's see. So, I don't know how well you can see. That doesn't really make up a whole lot, as you can see. And I forgot to look and see exactly how much they were versus a gallon, because I was going more for shelf life. So I don't really have a comparison as to how uh, how it measures up against that. This is more of an emergency sort of thing. So, there is my cap. But it's something that works. I mix it up. The bubbles will lay down after a while. There you go. You have you have a bit of milk. One of those little cartons will give you enough to do a few bowls of cereal with or a bit of your coffee with if you don't like it straight into the coffee. Or a uh, a few small cups of chocolate or strawberry milk should you add that in. I'm going to put this in to chill. And at any rate, my son will have a little bit to tide him over until my town run tomorrow for my doctor's appointment. I get to deal with um, paperwork and the normal stuff for me. So until next time, have a good night. Bye-bye.